to Bridgeville Network TV at the grand opening launch party for community and company. What inspired you to do this magazine? Okay. I'm Mary E. Nichols and I've been an interior architectural photographer for at least 35 years. And so I got the idea that perhaps with all the talent now available right. that I could put something together that would be pretty wonderful. There, we decided we wanted large pictures, a simple design, and we ended up getting projects from all over the world and they continue to come in. So also what was really important was the idea of having videos in our magazine. So, so far it's been a good formula and I feel extremely lucky to have this gentleman as one of the founders as well because that's why the magazine looks like it does. It's a bit of a challenge being a startup, finding projects worldwide um, that live up to the standard that we set for ourselves. We set, we set very high standards. We set yeah. high standards. Yeah, and we're living up to those, I think. We're not budging, and um, they're coming in. Um, I was very lucky to have Mary contact me when she started the project. If we didn't share a vision, I probably would not have come on board, and I could just tell that uh, it felt right, so I jumped on it. Jennifer Rydell, founder and designer. So you're just a vision of loveliness. But before we get into that, tell us what is your passion? How did you like create all of this? I think it's probably from about 14 years of interior design. I collected different styles and different clients and different people, and it just seemed to be a natural evolution. It's kind of nice to get a more multi-dimensional view of, of uh, home burnishing. Like the way you chose things are all sort of different but interconnected. I mean, how did you go about doing that? You know, I just pick what I love. Okay. And I think when you pick things that you love, whether it's me or my clients, it just somehow works. Well, I love the store. I love the design. Thank and uh, so much. tell everybody where you are and how can we find you? We are at 8259 Melrose Avenue, West Hollywood. And uh, you can go to communityandco.com. And it's a beautiful space, beautiful, beautiful store, and you need to come in and check out this stunning, beautiful designer, Jennifer Rydell. All right. A legend in the loose side business. You have to tell me because I heard a wonderful story about you with the Obama chairs. I uh, was commissioned to do uh, the, the old chair. We call it the old chair. Right. And I made that up for my sister. I said, What if he doesn't accept it? She said, There's always Oprah. <laughs> I'll tell you a good story about this chair. Everybody wanted to put a pillow in my Lucite chair, and I said, I'll put the pillow in. So that's why I made a double ball. So wait, everybody's gonna ask this question, Lucite, and they're gonna think it's uncomfortable. Yeah, well, my dad used to make pews for the church, so I learned the pitch from the pews. And you can sit in a wooden chair all day for an all day's meeting. And I learned the pitch, and I put it in my chair. <laughs> Well, you heard it right here. Thank you so much, Charles. And I'm going to go sit in Charles' chair because I have to try it myself. Thank you so much for talking to Rich Girl Joy for Rich Girl Network TV. Oh, good. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to sit there now. This chair is super, super comfortable.